What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Awa, and welcome back to another episode of Black Awa's Beer Review. Today, we're going to be trying out some Anyways Shake by the Diametric Brewing Company. Now, Diametric Brewing Company, based in Lee Summit, Missouri, baby, the Shelby State, just where I'm from. So, love supporting those local breweries. Now, this is a Indian Pale Ale and, I should be grammatically correct in saying, an Indian Pale Ale with fruit and lactose. And I hear tell that this is a uh, milkshake type of beer. It says, a sweet combo of hops, peach, vanilla, and lactose. For those times, you just want it anyways. So, I do want it today. <laughs> I got to tell you, buddy, I'm awful thirsty. So. This is uh, brewed with Mosaic and El Dorado hops. They got many different hops out there. Those are the ones they chose. And as usual with the Diametric, such a cool can, buddy boy. You got this old guy on here. He got a trendy shirt on, and it looks like the beer is just blowing his mind, man. He's blowing his lid. So we're going to see if it can blow me away today. Once again, 16-ounce cans comes in the four-pack. 6.8% alcohol by volume. I would tell you about the price, but... My good, good friend Devin came to visit me and he dropped these off to me and he said, Black Eye, will you like beer? I need you to review these beers because they're some of the best around. And, you know, I looked at this and I said, India Pale Ale, man, that IPA. Oh, I'm kind of shaking in my boots, man. I don't really do the IPA. But, you know, with the uh, fruit and lactose, I got a feeling it's going to be all right. So I'm going to calm down just a little bit and we're going to have us a nice little crack. <laughs> that right there tells me this is going to be something interesting because usually when you crack a beer, you get that that hiss, boy. That was what I like to call a fat crack. I feel like something deep in there, buddy, boy. Not a lot of kts. It was more a thump thump. And that means it's going to be probably good. So let's have us a little snifferoo for the old nostrils. It's hoppy. I'm scared. It's hoppy. That's the IPAs, man. They get real pine tree on me, man. It's like a pine tree, like a Christmas tree lit and shoved up my. So, I'm a little worried about that. Not really getting any fruit off the bat, but it is peach. And peach kind of does have that smell that's more of the rind than the actual fruit. So,. We've had the smell, let's go ahead and have a pour, see what's in store, I'm spilling it everywhere, but you know me, that's me. You gotta pour some out for the homies, don't you? And you know what, Devin, the big homie, because you come to my house and bring me beer, woo, and you need a smoocheroo. This is Thickums. Thick, thick, baby. Ooh, definitely thick. Got that hazy color like the IPAs have. Uh, not a whole, a really small, small head on there, but a deep, can you see that? It's a deep color, baby. Deep, deep, deep. So, another smell. Another smell. Less hoppy now that it's breathing, I gotta tell you that. Hmm, what does this say? Peach, vanilla, lactose. You get a little bit of darkness, if you will. Hops, vanilla. Like I said, peach. Mm -hmm. But peach kind of got that rind to it, too, don't it, baby? So let's stop talking about it and let's give her a go. Ooh. You won't have to wait. Texted me. I'm trying to drink. Say. Say. <laughs> Let Big Daddy see it again. Hey now, hey. I think you're onto something here. Diametric. Hoppy. Definitely hoppy. But it's not overpowering hops. It's not those hops where you're like, Ugh! it's hops where it's like, and hops is part of beer, you gotta deal with it. I'm dealing with it. I know, mom. But the hops are not overpowering. I think the vanilla and lactose are helping you kind of smooth it down, give you a nice little 
smooth ride as I knocked that can over. Thank goodness it was empty because I don't want to waste none of this liquid gold. I already wasted some here. Ooh, so, let me have one more. I'm trying to get that peach. See if it hung in mustache. Mm -hmm. There's peach there, but it's not the peach. See, that's the thing. When you think about fruit beers and you think about fruit flavors, this is kind of how we've been, I wouldn't say spoiled, but tricked. When you think about a fruit flavor, you're thinking about artificial flavor. You're thinking about peach being like a peach candy or something, you know. They always give you the flavor explosion. This is more true to the actual fruit. <clears throat> That'll tell you it's good. One burp up. Now, it's got peach to it, but it's more of like the, uh, I don't know, almost the rind or like the back end of it. The hops are very predominant, but I will say that the vanilla and the uh, lactose smooths it right out. It's pretty damn good, I gotta tell you that. Especially for an IPA. I'm usually scared to death of them IPAs, but you know what? That's pretty good, and it almost kind of looks like a juicy juice. I guess that's where it gets it from. So, let me have one more. Well, that's all right. That's just all right. You know, like I said, those hops are in there. The hops are very predominant, but smooth, man. Very smooth beer. Get carbonation. You can definitely tell it's an old beer, but very, 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 very good. Now, is it a sipper? Is it a chugger? Is it a slammer? This right here, definitely a sipper, baby. It's heavy duty. It's like me. It's buff, it's ready to go, but it's kind of sweet too, you know what I mean? So, this is really actually pretty good. Like I say, I don't do the IPAs a lot, but you know what? This ain't that bad. If Diametric, if this is how you do IPAs, show me some milk, baby, give me some milk. So, uh, a food pairing with this, you know, with it being, it's not dark. I keep wanting to say dark, but it's not a dark beer. It's just very hoppy. <laughs> They're hopping up now. So, with something like this, I almost want like a crisp salad, man. I know that sounds strange, but I kind of want something bright to pair with this, uh, with the hops and stuff like that, though. But I think that this is a great, not so much an introduction. But it's a great way to get an IPA thinker like me who's just like, oh, IPA, I don't do that. Try this one, man. Because this one right here, it'll change your mind. This is pretty damn good. Let me have another. Man, I like it. You're getting hops. You're getting vanilla on the back end. Lactose, making it smooth. And the peach. It's not the star of the show, but you know what? It doesn't need to be because a good beer is not overtaken by some fancy frills and crap like that, you know. A good beer is just a good beer. And for it to have a little peach in there, that's just icing on the cake, baby. I think that they did a wonderful job, you know. I'm really impressed with Diametric and the way that they do their blend. Because it's it's an IPA, for show, sure, but it's also got something to it, baby. <laughs> and that's something to it makes me want to do it, baby. So, one more for Big Papa. I get down with that IPA, which is a strange thing for me, as you know. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it, oh, a 7. Like I say, IPA is not my favorite. The hops are not something I'm super big on, like having in my, you know, I, and there, there again, all the beer snobs out there, like, oh, you know, they all have hops, don't they? Well, yeah, but sometimes you can't taste it like this. Which, I'm, like I said, I think they've done a great job of being like, yeah, it's an IPA, it's kind of hoppy, but check this out, some bitch. This is good. So, seven, strong seven at that. But yeah, this is definitely one I would drink again. And you know, I've had the other one that they had, the uh, Crimson Bog, and I'm really excited to try more beers by Diametric Brewing Company out of Lee Summit, Missouri, man. They've got some really good stuff. they got some interesting cans. And I love that they're homegrown too, buddy boy. Right in my backyard. So, I want to thank y'all for joining me in my backyard or in my kitchen or wherever the hell I'm at now. On another episode of Black Eye with Beer Review. 
Make sure to like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and you can watch all my other beer reviews right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one. Enjoy that beer. And I'll see you next time.